Welcome back to Planner Apocalypse, where today I'm going to be possibly ruining two planners at once. Uh, so this is my spiritual journal, which I set up in a different video. Uh, it's the Sterling Ink Common Planner. I did put my word of the year on the cover. I had extras and I can make more, so it's not really a big deal. Because I've stuffed it with tippins, it's done a weird thing to the spine, so I don't know how this is going to go. This is the Magic of Eye Astrology Planner, Astro Planner. I don't remember exactly what they call it. I did a review of this planner at, in 2022, I think, for the 2023 version. I actually had a pocket size. This is the A5 size. If you watched the previous review of this planner, I did go through everything. That's not what this is going to be about. I would say that this size is much better for people who have eyesight problems. Uh, it's extremely packed with all sorts of information. It's a really great product. I just personally don't like this layout. It's just not for me. But I love the cover so much. It's what drew me to the planner in the first place. Uh, I do have an Ouroboros tattoo, so that is very appealing <laughs> to me. It does have a folder back here. I don't think the pocket one had a folder. I can't remember. But what I was going to do to ruin this is I was going to basically cut the cover off and see if I can glue it on my spiritual journal for this year. Because they're, they're roughly the same size. I don't know how this is going to pan out as I continue here just stuffing more things in it. So there's that. But... I'm, I'm not actually going to use this. I know I bought it, but it was during one of their sales. And I'm like, what if I could do a stupid thing and show the internet? Because we all love doing stupid things. So I think I'm going to try to keep these end papers in there because they're very nice. So let's try, let's just try going for it. I've never actually taken a book apart before, so... This is going to be my first time. A little scared. That came off really easily. Uh, I will be losing the bookmarks, but others can guide the way, but only you hold the key to your own unique magic. I'm a little bit sad that I'm going to be covering that up, but that's fine. So this is a really great planner. I really like it. I like the way that it's written. That, see? Wow. That was easy. That's all that's keeping your book in, in your book cover, just so you look at this. And you have the tape holding the signatures together. This is anatomy of a book right now, book binding. Not that I book bind, but uh, so they, they taped down the bookmarks, the spine tape. You can see that it's uh, thread bound here with the different signature being kept together. They are glued at different points to each other. Mm. A thicker paper, no it's not, it's just interesting. So that's that. I will probably be cutting this apart and gluing these things in this book just because I'm a mad person, but we're gonna put this aside and now we're gonna see if this fits or if I have to just glue this back together and pretend like it didn't happen. It sticks out obviously so there's that but we already knew this was going to be a little crazy so let's try it. So I, I think we're going to take the cover and glue it completely onto the end, end page. What is it called? The flyleaf? and then do the same with this cover. So I've got this, what is it, like E6000 Industrial Strength Adhesive, the favorite of crafters everywhere. It's very stinky, I say, as I smell it directly from the tube. What is wrong with me? Don't do that. <laughs> so I, I think this is like a rubber cement, perhaps. And get in there. And I go like that. Maybe I should read the directions first. Possible cancer agent. Oh, I smelled it so good. If symptoms occur, move to fresh air. Don't whiff this, you guys. Directions. Test small area before use. Apply directly to surfaces to be bonded or repaired. Allow 24 hours for curing. Maximum bond strength may not be reached for up to 72 hours. Well, I'm sure it's fine. 
I say, we just, we're just gonna go. This is how I live my life. We're just gonna go. I've given it some thought and we're just gonna do it. And go like that, be nice. Just remember that you don't put any glue here because you want that to move around. We also have this nice elastic here, so that will keep it together. And then we're gonna do it in the reverse this time and put the glue here. It's very fat and I'm, I'm a little bit afraid. I think it should be okay though, probably. Where's my little, there we go. Look at this huge thing, get in there. I love drawing things and putting them back together. <laughs> Why can't I do that with my life though? <laughs> so that's part one, part two, here we go. Very nice. Others can guide the way, but only you hold the key to your own unique magic and planner ruining prowess. Let's do it. This is going to be tricky because the spine is so big. She said it like that. And so I just, I really want to line this up as best as I can. And I think I'm actually going to get a little clippy. Need a clippy, please. Or do I? Maybe I don't. Magic in here and everywhere. Ta-da. Very nice. Cool. All right. Then we just hold it together. And there we have it. Oh, wow. That's going to be nice. And you can still see a couple of pages that have the foiling on them. Too bad I didn't get the common planner with gold foil. But, you know, live and learn. Live and learn. All right. So that's, that's that. I'm going to just uh, do this. And it holds it closed. I love it. Best idea ever. Okay. Now it even says 2024. And it says, as above, so below as within so without and it's got beauteous cover and i get to keep it on my shelf and actually do things that i care about with it and that makes me very pleased so i'm gonna just leave this to dry for the next few days and i will be back to check in afterwards hello and uh, welcome back it's been about two weeks now, actually. I had some stuff going on, but the book has held up nicely. I just got a paper cut. Thank you very much for that. It, like I said before, it's pretty thick. The one thing that I will say is that because the spine was so bent going in, it did not want to adhere right on the corner there. So it's a little, little wobbly, at least on the top. It's a little wobbly on the bottom too, but I don't regret anything. And there is the elastic to keep it closed. So I'm still considering this a, a success, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. I am pleased. And so that's, that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions or comments or whatever, leave them down below and I will see you next time. Okay, bye. Till next time. Ah.